Hi Taurus, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Reading from the Heart. So this is your love reading for um, February 2018. So February, as everybody knows, is the month of love. Yes, love. Yes, it's the month of love. So, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, it's the month of love for everyone. And, you know, when you're single and, or if you're looking for love or, you know, if you feel that something's missing from your relationship, I'm not really here to... Do a reading on how you spice up your relationship if you're going through little little things. Um, I'm here to do a reading and say, you know, um, what I feel that you need to do is maybe look at another way to sort things out. This reading is for people who are looking for love or they're in serious relationship kind of strife, okay? And they might be looking for either a way out or it just depends on what comes out in these readings. Because sometimes what can come out in the readings is, you know, you're going through shit. And, you know, you're at a place and you say, fuck, I'm going through this shit in a relationship. And it might come out in the, re in the reading what you need to do about it or how it's going to go. Some of you guys it will be, you know, literally you're single and you're looking for love. And, you know, the cards will be there and they'll say, well, this is coming. It just depends. So we're going to see. For those of you who are kind of open, I guess, to love. This is, like, let's put it this way. This is for anyone, Taurus, that is not in a 100% happy relationship okay we'll put it that way all right whether you're single or you've got some difficulties in a relationship this reading will be for you anything other than that if you're completely hearts and flowers and completely in love this reading's not for you all right so this is a love reading for what's coming in for um for um taurus in february 2018 the month of love valentine so here we've got we're using the thelema tarot uh, for the main reading, and your advice is the Romance Angels. So let's have a look and see what's um, what's happening here. So Universe Spirit, show me what's coming in for love for Taurus. Show me Taurus and love in February 2018. Show me Taurus and love. What's coming in for Taurus and love in February 2018? Show me what's coming in for Taurus in February 2018 concerning their relationships or love situation. What's coming in for Taurus? in february 2018 show what's coming in what can you see coming in for taurus in february 2018 and their love lives show me taurus and their love lives what's coming in for taurus and their love lives in february 2018 show me all right so uh let's split the deck into three one two three and we're going to collect this back up guys And let's have a look. So the energies around you guys, Six of Swords. Six of Swords is about moving on. So when you get the Six of Swords, Taurus, this is... If it's another person, this person's already outside the door. They've already gone, all right? They're probably moving on with somebody else sometimes because you get one person. How many people are in this boat? Well, it's one person in the boat. So this is somebody moving on, Taurus. And this, the energies around you are that... There might be an ending of a relationship or you're moving on to something else, okay? Your challenge for love is the chariot in the reverse. So the challenge is, and this is why you're moving on, there's a relationship that came to a halt. Chariot reverse means something is not, there's there's no success or victory. Chariot reverse means a lack of success and a lack of victory, all right? There, is, there isn't the potential to have victory in this because the wheels have basically come off. In the upright, this card says, you know, we're trying to achieve this. You know, the chariot's here. Look at the two sphinxes or the two horses on this particular guy. Chariot's saying, right, I'm trying to control the two horses. They're threatening to rip me apart because one wants to go one way, one wants to go the other. But if I can keep a rein, if I can try and control all of this tumultuous energy, I'll get there. It'll happen. We'll have success and we'll have victory. But in the reverse, it's like we've tried so hard, so hard that literally the chariot's gone and it's gone and it starts like this. So it's turned over. You know, you try so hard. The, the, the challenge for some of you Taurians, you've tried so hard, but you tried way too hard that everything has just turned over. There's no success here is your challenge. There's no way to move forward with this situation with the chariot in the reverse. And as a result of that, you guys will be focusing on moving on. Because in your foundation, this is all about a devil in the reverse. And that's lovely. Beautiful. Excellent energy. Devil reverse represents to let go of a toxic situation. So I think this is you guys, Taurus. You're letting go of a toxic situation. Devil's reversed. Devil Reverse says, look, I've got problems in this relationship, man. This is codependent. It's toxic. It's argumentative. It's controlling. It's 
abusive sometimes is the devil in the upright so in the upright this is all the stuff in the upright this devil is right she's controlling toxic abusive nasty energy it's restrictive but in the reverse you say you know what actually i don't want any of that shit i'm leaving it behind and i'm coming out of it because the challenge is we've got nowhere to go and as a result of that my focus for the uh, month of February 2018 for Taurus is I'm moving on. Around that devil in the reverse, you guys, well, I think you're letting go by, and as a result of this card, by not opening up anymore. Nine of Cups in the reverse means to uh, not give love. It means to, you know, the Nine of Cups in the reverse, the more that I've, I mean, I've been doing a few readings and I've seen this dude show up a few times for the signs, and he's not all bad. Sometimes it's just me, my heart's not in it. So you guys who are beginning to relinquish and let go of the burden, you found why you, around that, as a result of that, your heart simply isn't in the situation, Knight of Cups in the reverse. So you're letting go the devil and the energy in the reverse. You're letting go of a toxic situation or a situation that didn't, that, that, that wasn't particularly freeing. There was a sense of control and restriction and it's a negative energy when the devil is there, often in love. And not unless it's a great time you're getting in bed with someone. Other than that, it's negative. Devil is negative when it's in the upright. In the reverse, it's a good card because you're letting go of all that tension, all that toxic energy. And as a result of that, you guys, Knight of Cups, you no longer pursue love with whoever this person is. Knight of Cups reverse, your heart simply isn't in the situation. And as a result of that, the most likely outcome for love for some of your Taur Taurians in February 2018 is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow, you're not going to be committed. Look, Knight of Cups reverse, heart is not in it, not pursuing love. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, not committed to anything long term. You're not pursuing love and as a result of that I see you guys not committing. Taurus, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, I see no commitment. And I think that this is you guys here. We'll open up the reading in a moment. Uh, coming into the immediate future. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. You know what, I think because you guys have let go of something here, Taurus. you got love coming in, Two of Cups. This is a new connection or you're dating. Be careful with two of cups. We don't always look at it as a soulmate card. Sometimes this is practically in 21st century life. This is dating often, two of cups, all right? You can share a connection. Of course you can with the two of cups, especially when you get it with the lovers. It makes it even more impactful. But this can be just be dating because I think that you guys are coming out and you're not committing to a situation. And also the knight of cups, most more than likely for love in February 2018 for you Taurians, it might just say, well, as a result of all of this, because you've let go of someone, you've released a negative energy, and as a result of that, the Knight of Cups, you might not be pursuing love per se, or you're not pursuing this individual, whoever it is, it might be, well, the most likely outcome for love is, well, you know, I'm not looking for a long-term thing, I might be looking with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse for a short-term thing, I might be looking for a bit of a fling, just a little bit of fun with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, because I am seeing a connection with somebody coming in here, dating perhaps i think uh you guys are the ten of coins in the reverse so you might have separated from her in a relationship ten of coins reverse represents a separation so i think you guys are going through a separation so if you guys ten of coins in the reverse you might be leaving a long-term relationship with that ten of coins in the reverse um coming in what you experience as a result of that two of cups is the wheel of fortune so this could be a little bit of stagnation here with the Wheel of Fortune. But it also might mean, because this Wheel of Fortune in the upright means that things have the potential to change with the Wheel of Fortune. can also mean that maybe you, you'd you have a, uh, you date someone and what you'd experience is the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe there's something fated or something destiny or, you know, driven. But the Wheel of Fortune is reversed. I think this is, might be a bit of stagnation going on here. Or things seem to come to a standstill. So maybe you're not looking for anything else. Maybe things are kind of going, evening themselves out with that Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. We'll see what comes in with that. It might be what you're experiencing there with that Wheel of Fortune. You're saying, well, this isn't the person I'm fated to be with. With the Wheel of Fortune reverse, I just want to have a bit of fun and see how it goes. I don't, looking, I'm not looking long term with this Wheel of Fortune reverse. I'm not looking for anything, you know, uh, too heavy. I think I the impression some of you guys aren't looking for anything heavy, Taurus. Um, fears of the Ace of Wands, or in the reverse, or your hopes might be the Ace of Wands. If you're not looking for anything short term, you're just looking for a little bit of a fling. I feel with the Ace of Wands in the reverse. I hope some. I think that some of you guys might be hoping for a bit of a fling with the Ace of Wands in the reverse. If it's a fear, then you're fearing that something's going to be a fling. Uh, the overall outcome for love in February 2018 is a seven. You are letting down your barriers, though. Nice. I'm seeing the gates opening. Things are opening to much more. It's a lovely reading. Seven of Wands in reverse represents those gates 
opening up because you get the seven of wands in the upright and often this can mean yes you are rejecting potential suitors in the reverse it says well let me give someone a chance let me give brother a chance here and sometimes this can mean a gate sometimes this is the universe seven of wands sometimes the universe says you know we're not ready to let anything into you but in the reverse it says well you know opportunities are starting to trickle through for love i'm seeing opportunities in love coming in here for you guys a lot of these readings are very similar i'm seeing for some of the signs breakups but this is good. You're not mourning anyone here. You're letting go. We're going to get some clarifiers. I'm going to see why you guys are the Ten of Coins in the reverse. Why is um, why is Taurus the Ten of Coins in the reverse? Two of Swords. I think you've blocked someone out with the Two of Swords. I think that you guys right now, you've separated from someone and you've blocked them out with that Two of Swords in the upright. Sorry. All right. Um, I think that some of you guys might have separated from someone also that perhaps held some secrets. Two of Swords. Cards that show people keeping secrets. Two of Swords. Uh, Eight of Swords is another uh, card that shows a secretive person. Four of Pentacles can show a secretive person. Um, what other ones show secretive people? Uh, King of Swords in the reverse can show somebody who's keeping secrets. Ten of Wands can show somebody who's concealing stuff. Uh, um seven of swords can show somebody who's concealing the truth as well so those cards you know you guys might have fallen out you might have separated or some the ten of coins you might have left the family home well it's possibly due, due to some form of an indiscretion with the two of swords energy but also you might have left the family home and bra bra you know and broke you know blocked somebody out you might have um left a long-term relationship with that ten of coins you might have separated from someone here with the Ten of Coins energy and blocked this person out with the Two of Swords energy because the reason that everything is happening is the devil in the reverse. And why is the devil in the reverse in the foundation for Taurus? Why is the devil reversed in the foundation for Taurus, show me. Okay, so I think that you're releasing... Um, I think that what you're doing with the devil in the in the reverse, I'm seeing with the devil in the reverse, there is releasing something that you've been putting a whole lot of hard work and effort into. Because the eyes of pentacles in the upright is about putting all the hard work and effort into a situation. Continuous. But, you know, this isn't just about hard work and effort. Because I see you releasing something that was dead end. Because eyes of coins in the upright and in the reverse can also say we do something over and over and over and over again. And there is no respite. Sometimes this is the card that says, you know, the, the thing with the, the Eight of Coins is that this is a very good card to get when you're doing work. But sometimes you can be doing work for nothing. If you get Eight of Coins and Three of Coins in the reverse, all that hard work won't be recognised from anyone with the Three of Coins in the reverse. So be careful of this card. You need a card to show that things are on the up with it. Because sometimes you're doing something. You need something that says, well, what, what does this bring in? You get eight of, coins and not eight of coins and nine of coins. All the hard work that you're putting in is bringing you financial gain. It's bringing you real material success, you know? So be careful with the eight of coins. It's not... For me, as a reader, I don't never read that card strictly as saying, off the bat, success. You need another card for me that shows that. I think you guys are releasing a situation in which you are working towards nothing with the eight of coins. Because there's nothing after it. It's just a piece of blackboard. I think that you're releasing a situation towards you which you were working to nothing with the Eight of Coins energy. And also I think that you're releasing a very exhaustive situation because I see the Eight of Coins of the amount of work that needs to be done is quite exhaustive. And as a result of that, you guys have experienced the Knight of Cups in the reverse. And let's have a look at what this Knight of Cups in the reverse is about. The Sun in the reverse. Okay. So I feel that... Um, as a result of these energy, you releasing a situation with someone who, um, releasing a situation in which you were putting a lot of hard work and effort, but also it looks to me like you were releasing a situation that didn't really have anywhere to go. You seemed to be working hard, but all you were doing was going around in circles. So I think you were releasing a situation that was going around in circles with that eight of coins showing here. And as a result of that, what you've experienced is the Knight of Cups. And I think that as, a, as an experience, as a result of this, I think that this is the person. It could be a water sign some of you guys were dealing with, Taurus. But this person no longer is offering you love. This person kind of um, broke promises to you. They rejected you. They didn't even want a friendship because I think that you released them. And I think there's a little bit of a get back here, a little bit of being pissed off. You experience a Knight of Cups in the reverse. Um, somebody who, with this Knight of Cups, was not willing to um, pursue a relationship with you so they weren't willing to pursue i'm seeing that somebody as a result of these energies wasn't willing to pursue a relationship that had nowhere to go with that sun card energy in the reverse 
they weren't willing to pursue something that didn't have the potential to bloom or grow i feel with this sun energy in the reverse and as a result of that um your challenges because i think that he challenges this chariot in the reverse this is why you seem to be releasing a relationship or situation that was going around in circles because the chariot is in the reverse in terms of your your challenge position temperance energy shows here okay so i feel that your challenges with this chariot that you became quite stuck and you got the temperance here i think that you were stuck in t in in terms of trying to because the temperance the chariot in the reverse is about delays but it also means something comes to a you know a, a resounding halt i think that the challenge is, is that you guys came to a point of um stasis i would say with this chariot in the reverse i think there was a, a sense of feeling stuck with that chariot in terms of trying to with the temperance energy make things work sort things out bring balance and adjustment back into the relationship so i feel that you know this isn't compromise you know you couldn't compromise even though the temperance card represents to compromise i feel that you'd reached a point of stagnation in terms of trying to compromise with whoever this individual is i feel with the temperance energy and as a result of that you guys will be focusing on moving on with that six of swords energy showing there um yeah i think that you're moving on from a situation with that six of swords because you've become quite cautious the fall you no longer want to take this opportunity the fall in the reverse is the absence of the falling the upright the falling the upright is to take the opportunity it's like you're not moving on to new opportunities it's almost like we need we, because it's not in the upright i won't say that you're moving on perhaps to a new opportunity i'll probably say that you're moving on because there was no opportunity with this situation this is the lack of an opportunity because it's the absence and it's the absent energy of what it is in the upright i think you're moving on because of the lack of an opportunity with this individual and as a result of that we've got the knight of pentacles as the most likely outcome for love so the most likely outcome i think it's only in this situation really so the first part the most likely outcome for love surrounding whoever it is that you're letting go of taurus is this knight of coins in the reverse the strength card in the reverse um i think that you guys the most likely outcome is you're not going to be committed uh to somebody who seems to i think this person wants to take control of who you are it might be a leo person that we're looking at here as well but the strength card in the reverse represents feeling overwhelmed and i think that you're not committed in the long term to this situation or you're not committed in the long term because it would represent feeling overwhelmed or a loss of your own power with the strength card in the reverse strength in reverse means the loss of power all right in the in the upright you've got more power than you know what to do with because you have the power to hold back on your desires okay you've got the power to wait and to be patient because the best is yet to come with the strength energy this is the overcoming of an obstacle this is inner confidence learning to rein things in mind over matter but in the reverse it becomes a lack of that it becomes that your desires overcome you so you become you lack the power and i feel that you're the most likely outcome is you guys are not going to commit with that knight of pentacles to a situation that would perhaps leave you feeling very powerless because i do feel it would leave you very powerless here because here we've got you guys in your root issue here the devil in the reverse you're letting go of a situation that seems to just be going around in circles and as a result of that i do feel that the knight of cups in the reverse is somebody who decided to not pursue a very kind of um doubtful unhappy situation with the sun energy so i think that this is both you and perhaps the other person because the challenge is the chariot in the reverse okay there was no i feel that there was no success in trying to compromise because the chariot represents a lack of success in the reverse and the temperance card is all about compromising so i think there was a lack of the challenges there was a lack of success in trying to compromise with an individual and the car, the individual trying to compromise with you chariot and as a result of that um chariot taurus sorry and as a result of that i see you guys moving on because there was no opportunity with the full energy showing here which is why the most likely outcome for this particular story is that you guys will not be committing you have no intention with this knight of coins in the reverse to commit to a situation that leaves you powerless or leaves you overly overwhelmed or overburdened by whoever they, because i think that there was a, a power struggle i'm seeing a power struggle between you and an individual here especially here where there is a lack of success in trying to compromise both of you wanted something your own way 
and you couldn't get it your own way. That's why you were going around in circles. I had a coin showing going around in circles. This is why you're releasing the devil energy. You're releasing something or a situation that was going around in circles that you were plodding along at, working on, but it wasn't working. Okay? And around that, as a result, they're not willing to pursue Knight of Cups in the reverse, a situation that was very doubtful and very unhappy and didn't have the potential for success, Sun in the reverse. <coughs> because your challenge is this chariot. Lack of success in compromising with whoever this person is. As a result, focusing on moving on from an opportunity that had no opportunity. There you go. Not willing to commit to a situation or a relationship in which you are overpowered or feel disempowered. The good thing is coming in is the two of cups, Taurus. And let's see what we well, well, let's see if it's good. Why well, have we got the two of cups coming in? Let's see what this is about. Okay. So I feel with the two of cups here, I think that you're communicating. Two of cups and the five of cups. I think that you're going to be communicating with this person or somebody's communicating with you that they feel lost and they feel upset about the situation. So I don't feel it's fully over. I feel for some of you guys, you decide that you're not committing to a situation in which you feel disempowered. Some of you guys might feel slightly disrespected as well. Just considering that in your challenge position, there's a lack of success in making a compromise with an individual here. And you decide to move on because there was no opportunity with the fall. And as a result of that, the Knight of Pentacles not committed to a situation that would have you overpowered or disempowered. But I feel somebody here, this Two of Cups, is communicating. They're communicating that they feel upset with that Five of Cups showing there. They feel upset that this relationship couldn't grow. It couldn't work out. Somebody might be communicating with you that they're upset that they weren't more nurturing or more understanding as well with that Empress energy showing up there. But what you'll experience coming in is the Fool. And not the Fool, the Wheel of Fortune, sorry, uh, in the reverse. Okay. Um, I think there's some of you guys... Because the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse, I think it's saying it's not the right time to really tell this person how you truly feel. Because you've got the Seven of Swords reverse. Seven of Swords represents a confession when it's in the reverse. It represents opening up. But the Wheel of Fortune, because it's a timing thing as well. Wheel of Fortune can say, well, when it goes around, that there is a potential for anything to happen at any one time. But Wheel of Fortune in the reverse can say, well, this isn't the right time. This is why time is stuck. Energy is stuck. And I feel that coming in what you'll experience, even though somebody's confessing, to, I think somebody else is confessing this to you, Taurus. And they're basically saying to you with the Two of Cups, look, um, they're communicating. Two of Cups is a communication card. Two people facing each other. I feel that there is communication here that somebody's telling you that they're upset that this thing didn't work out with the Empress in the reverse or that they were unkind or unnurturing. And I think that this person here, I think it's the other person that might be saying to you, Taurus, look, I'm really sorry that this thing didn't work out. In February. So I think somebody's going to be coming back and saying, I'm really sorry. Because they realise that you mean business. But you're the hard-ass one in this. You really are. I'm seeing Taurus as being the hard-ass person. Because I'm seeing somebody comes back to you and they say, look, I'm really sorry that this didn't work out. I'm really sorry that I wasn't understanding enough with the Empress in the reverse. She's a clinical, cold, hard individual in the reverse. She's not maternal. She's not nurturing. She's not any of those things. So I think this person's saying, you know, I'm really sorry that it didn't work out and I wasn't nurturing enough. But... I think what you'll experience coming in is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Is that it's not time for you to confess how you truly feel about this individual. With the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So it's not time for you to confess how you feel and heal wounds with the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Heal the situation. For some reason it's not time for you to do that. Maybe it's the wrong thing for you to do at this present time in February 2018. Taurus. Maybe it's not the right time for you to say something to someone here. I'm going to ask why. Why is it not the right time for Taurus to confess or to try and uh, rectify a situation in terms of... Because I'm seeing Seven of Swords and the Nine of, Nine of Swords is to heal uh, a situation. And the Seven of Swords can be to confess or to um, to rectify, to right a wrong. 
okay, and heal it, okay? So this is about going back to the scene of the crime and, you know, cleaning up the mess and, and sorting things out. So I, I think with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, this is not the right time to do this for you, Taurus. And I'm just asking why, why is it not the right time for Taurus to do this with this person? Well, I think there are better things ahead with the star energy, okay? Um... Well, I think with the star card, you are, there's something better coming along. And I think that also, it might be that you need to heal a little bit more. Why the star? Why the star? Why the star? Because of the six of cups in the reverse. Well, I think, no, I think what it is, is that it's saying it's not the right time. You need to put a halt with this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse to confessing how you truly feel in terms of healing. So to confessing or trying to with these two cards, Seven of Swords Reverse and Nine of Swords Reverse, healing the situation. Because I think that it's saying that you've still got aspirations here for the past. You're still looking at this. So for somewhere along the line for some of your Taurians, you're still looking at a situation in the past with rose-tinted glasses on with that Six of Cups reversed. Because your fears will be the Ace of Wands in the reverse. I want to see why your fears are the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Four of Swords in the reverse. I think your fears are that if this relationship doesn't work out again, if it's just a quick fix, it's going to cause a lot of restlessness with that Four of Swords in the reverse. And therefore the overall outcome is the Seven of Wands. Now that's interesting because that's about the lowering, surrendering. So why is the overall outcome for this love reading for Taurus the Seven of Wands in the reverse? Right, so um, <clears throat> I think that lowering your guard, I think this is advice. It looks like it's advice to you. It's almost like the universe is saying, look, you need to put a halt or it's not the right time for you to fess up or to open up to this individual in order to try and maybe heal the situation with the Nine of Swords because you've still got aspirations for a time that's long gone with this Six of Cups. You're still looking at this. You're still hopeful with that star energy that you can re-conjure the past, the way things were in the very beginning with that Six of Cups in the reverse. And therefore, the overall outcome is letting down your guard to, with this Seven of Wands will only bring in unhappiness, I feel, with this Ten of Cups in the reverse. If you decide to move back in with this person or you decide to recommit Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse represents to go from an independent state to going to being with someone in love. Moving in with someone, committing to someone again. But the Ten of Cups is reversed here. This is a card about unhappiness. So if you lower your guard, it's going to bring unhappiness if you should recommit to this person. Okay, showing up here. Sorry, I've gotten quiet. I'm just looking at something here. Yeah, I think this person will go back to doing what they've done before. I really do. I think this person... Sorry, I don't want to put too many cards down there, but I think this person is going to go back to doing what they've done before. Let's get you love reading again for some of you Taurians. And this is you guys who I think have let somebody go. It, but it's an interesting message. Sometimes the tarot will come and it will say it's got a message for you. Whether it's Valentine's or not, it's got a message, a really important message. And I think that some of you guys have let go of someone. And it's saying, you know what, don't go back there. 
because you could be tempted to go back. In your you now position, I see you guys have with this ten of coins in the reverse. I think you've removed yourself either from a marriage or a long term relationship with that ten of coins in the reverse. It might be that you removed yourself from a long term situation to focus on yourself, two of swords. It might be that you removed yourself from a long term situation or you removed yourself from a long term relationship in which somebody was hiding things from you with the two of swords. It might be you removed yourself from a long term situation, Taurus, because and blocked somebody out with that two of swords. But I think that you've removed yourself with that ten of coins for a long term relationship, some of you guys, in order to focus on yourself with the two of swords. Because uh, in your foundation, the reason that everything is happening is because you're releasing a very toxic situation that had no end with that eight of coins. There was a very toxic situation that you're releasing here for some of you Torians that seemed to go on and on and on and on with the eight of coins energy showing there. There was no abating with it. There was no stop. There was, you know, it was just continuously going on, going on, going on. And as a result of that, I feel that around you guys, you, I think this is actually you. I think it's both of you maybe, but I think it's more you. I think that because of these energy, there was no energy and there was your heart, suddenly your heart was not in a situation that showed no promise with the sun in the reverse. So as a result of removing yourself from a situation that continuously just continues to round and round in circles, I think that as a result of that, you guys here in the recent past removed yourself. So finally you decided, you know what, my heart is not in this. I'm not, my heart isn't in a situation with the sun in the reverse that has no potential for growth or happiness or light or prosperity or abundance what's the point in that it's just going round and round in circles and i need to remove myself from this and focus on myself with the two of swords you might have been removing yourself from somebody who was playing the field as well with the two of swords energy your challenge is that there was very little success i feel in trying to reach a compromise with whoever this individual was taurus so i think in february 2018 for some of you guys taurus you will look to move on uh, from a situation that had no potential at all because the fool in the upright is about pure potential in the reverse there's no potential it's the it's the absence so i feel to remove yourself your your focus for february is to remove yourself from a situation that you feel has no potential with the fool energy and as a result of that the most likely outcome for love in 2000 in uh, in um in february 2018 concerning this situation is that you will not be committing Knight of Coins in the reverse to a situation in which you will have to give your power up to this individual. Because I feel that something was going round and round in circles. You might be removing yourself Ten of Coins in the reverse from somebody who was consistently indecisive. And it might be that this indecision is referring to what this Eight of Coins is. That, you know, in your foundation you released this toxic situation because it was going round and round in circles. You might have let this devil go, for example. Might be a Capricorn, some of you guys released because the situation was going round and round in circles because this person was indecisive as well. But I see you guys not willing to commit to a situation in which you have no power. Coming here, I think like what you're going to experience, Taurus, is communication. It will be from, if this is the person you're releasing, the devil, the Capricorn, that person, or whoever this Two of Swords person potentially is here, the person that you've been going round, round and round in circles with, I think this person is going to come back for some of you guys because I'm seeing somebody who's communicating. And they're communicating how lost they feel, the Five of Cups, and how sad and disappointed they feel. It might even be you, you're communicating how sad and disappointed you are to this person in terms of the Empress in the reverse, that you couldn't build this relationship, you couldn't nurture it. You might be communicating that you feel that this person has been really cold and really withdrawn from you and didn't want to nurture and work on the relationship. And it might be this person is communicating to you how disappointed they are with the Five of Cups, that you couldn't nurture and work on the relationship. And influence is coming in though. <coughs> I feel that there is going to be communication between you and an individual here in February. But I feel that what will happen is, is that this is not about so much confessing. Because I think that the confession stage stops here, Taurus. I think what happens after this confession between you and this individual is that the wheel of fortune is in the reverse. So I feel that there will be a halt to rectifying this situation and bringing in healing. Because Seven of Swords means to rectify the mess. So <clears throat> I think that this will be at a... 
um, there'll be a halt put to this in terms of trying to rectify with that Seven of Swords in the reverse and bring healing back into the relationship with the Nine of Swords reverse. And why is that? We drew two clarifiers. I think it's you guys who know that you, with the Star card, that you are still hopeful of bringing the past back. And I think that you guys know that you can't bring the past back in this situation because the Six of Cups is all about rose tinted glasses and looking at the past. You know, looking at a past situation, like, oh, those were the good old days. So you know that you can't bring the past back, I think. I think you're very clear on that, that you are hopeful of that, bringing the past back. But you know that you can't, which is why you kind of try not to. I think I don't see you rectifying, trying to rectify the situation, even though I think that you could, because I think that you discuss things with an individual here. But I don't, I don't think there's any dice coming in as to reconciliation with this individual because your fears are that this will be a short-term thing and if it's short-term again with the ace of ones in the reverse it's going to bring a hell of a lot of pain and restlessness in all the work that you've done on yourself by releasing this individual it'll all be undone in this energy here and therefore the outcome taurus is if you let down your guard to this person i think sometimes the universe will have advice in the outcome so it's warning you, it's saying if you do let down your guard to this person, i.e. try and rectify the situation, you're going to bring unhappiness, ten of cups. So let down your guard, seven of swords, one's in the reverse, you'll bring unhappiness into your life, ten of cups in the reverse, if you start to, if you recommit or you decide that you're going to commit to this individual again with the, um, with the nine of coins in the reverse. Nine of coins is to commit, come out of isolation, come out of the gilded cage. Ten of Cups represents unhappiness in relationships, emotional unhappiness, and nine of wands. Seven of Wands is to let your guard down, surrender. So basically, you're going to surrender yourself to, I feel, to an unhappy relationship if you commit. You will surrender to an unhappy relationship if you commit. If you go back to whoever this individual is, you'll 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 basically sacrifice your own happiness for this individual. So I think this is something that you guys need to be very aware of. And I think it's for you guys who have let go of an individual and you're thinking, oh, well, it's Valentine's, maybe we could try and work something out. I think the universe is saying nothing can be worked out, really. Not even if it's Valentine's with this individual. I think the universe is saying that you really need to let this person go. Okay, Universe Spirit Angels, what is your advice on this reading for Taurus? What is the advice that you have on this reading? The Taurus, show me. There you go, deception. Somebody is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Deception. Be careful, see? This, I think it's this person here. Somebody's going to communicate. And it's probably both of you communicating that you're really unhappy that it didn't work out. You couldn't nurture it. You couldn't build it. But it could also be this person communicates how upset they are that they are the empress in the reverse. That they didn't spend enough time with you. And they didn't show enough care and enough dedication and love to you. But I think if this and this is the this is where I'm seeing them acting. See, I'm seeing an act happening here, and I think that this is why there is a deception. So this can't be you. This must be them that's communicating this to you. Somewhere along the line, Taurus, in February, for some of you guys who have let go of someone, but you're still in kind of contact, you're gonna have this type of conversation with this individual. And they're going to be like, oh, man, you know what? I'm really sorry, Five of Cups, that, you know, I didn't nurture and I didn't treasure you and I didn't, you know, and I didn't love you enough and I didn't care and support of you enough. Because I'm seeing the conversation with these cards and that's why it's telling me deception. Somebody's wearing a false mask because the only place I see this person communicating with you is here. That's it here. But you don't let go of this person, you see. You said, I ain't committing to someone who's going to attack my power. In other words, the strength card says, I'm not committing with this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse to somebody who won't allow me to compromise with them. Somebody who wants to take my power away. Who wants to take my power off, you know, uh, being able to stand in my own power and say, look, we there's a problem here, challenge. We There's a challenge. We cannot. There's been a lack of success in how we are trying to compromise and work this thing through. So, you know, I'm going to move on because this thing bears no potential. It has no potential with the fall in the reverse. And as a result of that, you know what? I'm not committing to someone who wants to take my power away. This lion here in the reverse. So the lion is possibly the two of swords individual that I'm looking at here. Because I'm seeing you guys who seem to be removing yourself. Ten of coins in the reverse means to separate or remove as well. 
all right, in the tarot. So I see you're the Ten of Coins in the reverse. You are not trying to join in the party. You're not trying to build anything. You, I think you're refusing to build something with the person who seems indecisive. I think the indecisive Two of Swords individual is the strength person, is the lion on the strength card in the reverse. And you're not breaking bread with this person, Taurus, because you don't see why you should. Why am I going to give up my belief system? We've tried compromising on this thing and you don't want to compromise. You expect me, though, to give in to you with this strength in the reverse. Well, hell no, I'm not committing to someone who expects me to be underneath them and do what they want me to do. And this person will probably come back and say, look, I'm really sorry. You know, I didn't treasure you enough. I didn't understand them. But that's where the deception is. Because coming in, you're not stupid, Taurus. You will do the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. You'll put a halt on the Seven of Swords, rectifying a situation in order to heal it, I feel, with this Nine of uh, Swords in reverse. Or you'll put a halt on confessing Seven of Swords in the reverse that you'd like to heal, because the Seven of Swords in the reverse is about telling the truth. So you guys might put a halt on with that Wheel of Fortune, confessing Seven of Swords in the reverse, that you want to heal the relationship with the seven, with the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Why is that? Because you recognise, Taurus, that with that star card, it's all about your hopes. And your hopes are based on things way in the past, but they're not now. You know that this is a deceptive bugger. And the universe, and, and it shows in your hopes, you're thinking, shit, if I let this person back in, what if, again, the Ace of Wands, we come back together maybe a night or two and then we go, then we finish again. It's going to leave me fucked up all over again with the Four of Swords in the reverse. The universe is saying, you know what, the overall outcome, you've got a dilemma here, I feel. Some of you guys have probably left this dilemma behind. Two of Swords is a dilemma and that's why you removed yourself from the dilemma. Okay. But you know what? The overall outcome is saying, Taurus, it's up to you what you do. But the overall outcome could be that you will let in. Nine, seven of Wands is to let in. You will let in unhappiness, Ten of Cups in the reverse, if you decide to commit to this person again. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Be very, very careful of whoever this douchebag is. Don't mean to call them douchebags. Not everybody's a douchebag, but the fact that we've got somebody who's wearing a false mask they're wearing a false mask in that immediate future. They're having a conversation with you. I saw the conversation. Be very, very careful of whoever this person is. They're trying to get in your good books. But you know what it is? It's because you won't be controlled, Taurus. You won't allow this person to control you. No way, no how. And what they don't like is the fact that they've lost their control. They hate it. I bet they're that night of cups in the reverse and the sun in the reverse. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, that's your love reading. You know what? It is what it is. If it resonates with you, fine. If not, then I'm sorry, okay? But it is what it is. All right. Love you guys loads. Take care. Bye-bye.